investing is risky investing in equity is risky but so is investing in bonds in the past corporates as well as governments have defaulted on their bond payments so would you actually want to invest in a bond with long duration what do i mean by long duration do you actually trust companies who are going to issue bonds for 20 30 40 or 50 years do you think that in today's era the company can actually survive for 50 or 100 years so that brings us to the question that are bonds actually issued for such a long duration or that's only limited to the theoretical and financial textbooks well to answer your question let us understand what is long duration or perpetual bonds or what are bonds with infinite maturity so in 1993 Walt Disney actually went and issued 300 million dollar bond with a maturity of 100 years which was about to mature in 2093 people at that time including the then head of fixed income for PIMCO Bill Gross even he said it's very crazy no one actually believed that this can be true and this can be worked but the issue was successful so after the success of Walt Disney the other corporates also followed Coca-Cola and Ford they also issued 100 year bond and in fact when Ford issued the 100 year bond it was subscribed within few hours well it's not only the corporates but even governments and central banks want to issue longer maturity bonds in the past UK France and Italy have all issued 50 years bond recently Austria issued a hundred year bond which was oversubscribed immediately in 2017 recently Argentina did issue a hundred year bond however that did not do well because of the state of economy of Argentina there are universities and institutions like the University of Virginia which has also issued 100 year bond so the corporates the government and everyone wants to issue longer duration bonds however are there bonds beyond 100 years has anyone actually issued a bond for 200 300 400 or 1000 years isn't that a joke no it is not a joke in 2017 itself a Danish energy company actually went and issued a bond with 1000 years of maturity which was about to get mature in 3017 3017 can you even imagine a 1000 year maturity bond well that's not the only thing even the Canadian Pacific Corporation did issue a 1000 year maturity bond that means they are going to keep the bond alive for 1000 years they will pay the coupon the interest for 1000 years but has it ever happened that a bond has survived a company has survived for 100 200 300 years and still paid the interest so yes there are bonds which are surviving for more than 100 200 years and there is a bond which is actually surviving for 370 plus years yes this is a bond issued way back in 1648 by the dutch water board which is still paying coupon every year in fact the investors are receiving coupon on an annual basis every year till date today however the rate of interest the coupon rate has been reduced substantially over the period but the bond is still alive well so what is bond well bond is a contractual agreement between the borrower and the lender in a typical plain vanilla bond the borrower gets the money today which is being utilized for some period of time that is called maturity of the bond so the borrower promises to pay back the investor by the maturity and in between that the borrower also pays interest regularly which can be paid annually quarterly or in any form of frequency this interest is also called as coupon so bonds are issued for various maturity some bonds are issued for less than one year where they are issued for meeting the working capital needs they can be issued for overnight till one year maturity these instruments are called money market instruments or money market securities then there are bonds which are issued for more than one year which are called as capital market securities here the corporate issues bonds with a duration can be two years three years five years ten years and so on and they are basically issued to meet the long-term needs like investments in property plant or equipment and so on now there are also bonds which do not have maturity these are called perpetual bonds they don't pay the principal back because the principal is typically paid on maturity and perpetual bonds do not have maturity 
these are bonds generally issued by sovereign governments for meeting some socio economic projects they are there to pay the coupon forever but as i said they are not going to pay you your principal back these type of instruments are perpetual instruments perpetual bonds and they are very famous and companies are more excited to issue such bonds but the question is will an investor really invest in a bond which never pays the principal back so these days you see many corporates and governments rushing to issue perpetual bonds why well the reason is very obvious that the interest rates are very low and in some cases in us and europe the interest rates are almost zero or in some cases negative also so if you are a issuer if you are a borrower you issue a perpetual bond you are virtually locking an interest rate which is almost negligible and you are actually going to pay nothing over the maturity of the bond and maturity well there is no maturity so you just raise money and you are never going to pay anything it's going to be a very minuscule amount that the borrowers are going to pay now let's understand the investor side why would an investor invest in such a bond there are pension funds and wealth funds sovereign wealth funds and various other organizations who wants who want to put their money in safe instruments and lock even the lowest interest rate they want to lock it forever so these are investors or institutions who get regular money and they want to lock the bond they want to lock the interest rate of the bond but what if they want liquidity what if their investors ask money well at any point you can sell the bond in the secondary market the secondary market basically means the stock market or otc you can sell this bond to any other investors and exit from the bond so the company may not redeem the bond back but you can at any moment sell the bond to any other willing investor so this is how even if the bond is perpetual with no maturity still you can exit from the bond especially from the secondary market that's the reason you have a good demand as well as a good supply for perpetual bonds